Hello and welcome to DB Sync. Today we'll be looking at MSCRM online and intact integration. DB Sync is a provider of integration solutions that connect SaaS application with other application to share search and streamline information. The overall objective of DB Sync is to reduce the double data entry and have a better information sharing across multiple application. DB Sync for MSCRM and intact integration comes with the out of the box solution implementation to integrate accounts and contacts to customer, invoices with invoices in intact, orders from Microsoft Dynamics CRM online as sales order in intact and products are tied up with items in intact. We also provide consulting apart from the out of the box implementation where any custom object from Dynamics CRM online can get integrated with any module within intact. Also any custom field can get integrated accordingly. Apart from that we also provide other features and functionalities where you can have scheduled invoices and PDF view. We integrate with all the intact version and we also integrate with multiple intact versions and multiple intact application with single MSCRM systems. Let me quickly give you a quick tour of our product, how exactly things work behind the scenes. For getting started with dbsync, the best way is to directly go to www.mydbsync.com and over here you'll find each and every information related with the product. The best way to get started is to get started with a free trial. You just have to click on register for a free trial, enter your information and select the right adapters over here. And in this scenario, it's going to be MSCRM online target will be intact. In that way you will be assigned two connection points and you will be assigned a free license of DB Sync for 30 days. As soon as you register you will get all the necessary information from our side and you can directly log in to your DB Sync account using the credentials. As soon as you log in you'll be directly routed to the dbsync UI. And in the dbsync UI, you'll be able to see how exactly out of the box solution works, how information goes back and forth, how the relationship has been architected and how the mappings can be changed pretty easily depending upon your business process. Let me quickly launch the application from here. And here we are on the dbsync UI. And in my dbsync account, I have two profiles as of now. One is MSCRM online to intact and the other one is Salesforce QuickBooks by direction. Profiles defines how exactly the synchronization is working. So if it is MSCRM to intact, the information is flowing from MSCRM into intact on a unidirectional basis. And Salesforce QuickBooks bidirectional defines the information is going back and forth between these two systems. You can find the predefined template under the process template section of dbsync. So if I go and click here, you'll be able to find all the templates which we have built over the years. 
and the attribute of each and every template is out of the box. Go and look for the MSCRM online to intact, view more, and you can directly add this particular template to your DB Sync account if that profile is already not in there by clicking on add now. As that profile is already in there, let me quickly go back and show you how the relationship has been maintained within that profile. If I go into the quick start, it will automatically route me to the installation process of DB Sync. And there's another way around as well. You can directly go into manage, edit, where you'll be able to find the adapters associated with that particular profile. And in this case, there are three adapters. One is intact, other one is MSCRM, and these are the two connection points. The third one is the console adapter, which is used by our support person to troubleshoot any issues faced by the client. You just have to provide the information associated with your intact instance over here. See properties and validate that particular adapter. It's pretty much the same with the MSCRM adapter. Just enter the information over here, save properties, and validate the adapter. As soon as it says connection settings are valid for both the adapters, the configuration of DB Sync for your intact and MSCRM is done. Now you can directly go in to the MSCRM to intact profile which you can see on the right hand side of the screen and if I go here you'll be able to see the start and the end process of this particular profile and which all information will be moving from MSCRM into intact. And over here I have two particular scenarios where invoices from MSCRM will be flowing into intact and orders from MSCRM will be flowing into intact as sales order. Along with the invoice and along with the sales order, it will also push across your accounts as customers in intact. Your products will be pushed as items in intact. Your contact from MSCRM will flow as contact and intact. So if I go a little deeper into you know, this particular action, you'll be able to find three states again over here. That is reader, mapper, and a writer. Reader actually defines from where exactly you're extracting the data. Writer is something where you're writing that particular information. And in this scenario, writer is nothing but intact. And mapper is the most important attribute of this particular integration which defines which all fields are mapped between MSCRM online and intact. So let me quickly show you how the information will be flowing from MSCRM online into the intact. So let me quickly open up MSCRM instance and what I'll be doing right now is that I'll be pushing across pre-existing invoice from MSCRM online into intact. So let me take up one of the pre-existing invoice from here. This particular invoice has got three line items associated with it. And these three line items will be directly pushed across to intact along with this particular invoice. And will automatically go and get associated with the pre-existing customer within intact. If you're pushing the information from MSCRM online into intact, you have to follow a couple of touch points over here. You just have to mark this particular generate object as invoice and save and close. As soon as you mark this particular invoice as 
generate equals to invoice, this process will get started. There are two particular ways how you can push across the information from MSCRM online into intact. One, it's a manual process where you have to go and click on run. Otherwise, you can set the synchronization on an auto scheduled basis where you can define the time second minute hour over here. So depending upon your convenience, you can set up this synchronization and automatically the batch process will run depending upon the time you have set in here. But for now, let me quickly run the synchronization on a manual basis. So I'll go in here and I'll go and click on run. as and when I'll go and click on run, the process will get started and if I go in here into my intact, we have invoices till ARIN1264 and it'll take a couple of minutes for running that job and you'll be able to see a new invoice which is coming from MSCRM online. As soon as uh, this particular invoice comes into intact, you can go back to MSCRM online and you can see that generate field has automatically become invoice updated. And here we are. Here is the new invoice which has been automatically generated in intact by using the MSCRM online information. If I go in here, you'll be able to see each and every information which is selected within MSCRM online replicating in intact. And it automatically get associated with the customer over here as an intact you just have customer and invoice relationship. So if I go back to MSCRM online and open up this particular invoice, you'll be able to see that generate field has automatically become invoice updated and this is one of the triggers by which your salesperson can make out that invoice has been generated into intact and as and when they apply the payment on that particular invoice you'll be able to see it over here with an MSCRM online invoice. Well I hope you got a better understanding of this particular product and how the information goes back and forth between MSCRM online and intact. If you have any questions, send us an email on sales at the rate of Thanks and have a nice day.